Hello, today it is Wednesday the 13th of January 2021. Now you can see the video is looking a little bit different today. There is a reason why. So let's go through our what, how and why. Our watch today, so I'm going to use my finger to put pencil. What to write a narrative, and we'll find out what a narrative is very soon of the tale of Little Red Riding Hood and we are going to focus today on just the beginning of the tale. How new learning is practiced and why so we can sequence sentences to form a piece of writing. Now a narrative, okay, is a tale or a story about a particular Thing. Okay, so we're focusing on Little Red Riding Hood, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood. So during these couple of days, we are going to retell, we're going to write a narrative of the tale. So that's the what, how, why. You can see I've got my piece of paper ready, okay, to do my writing. But before we do that, we're just going to go through the beginning of our story of Little Red Riding Hood. So we know once upon a time there was Little Red Riding Hood, okay, and she was going to visit her poorly grandma. While walking through the forest, okay, she bumps into a cheeky little wolf, okay. Her and the cheeky little wolf have a little chat. The wolf asks, where are you going? She replies, she's going to see her grandma who is very sick. She's going to give her a basket of food. And then we see that the wolf has his thinking. He begins to think, okay, about what he is going to do. He gets an idea. Okay, so we're just going to focus on these four illustrations today because this is the beginning of our tale okay so i'm going to write about those so during the week you had your sequence of the story and you wrote underneath you can use that too to help you write as well and you can use your talk for writing that you made yesterday okay so i'm going to put these on the top of my page just to remind me i'm going to put one here and i'm going to put them in the order just to remind me of the order. Now, when we do our writing in school, we have lots of things to help us. Okay, so I'm just going to show you these things and where you can find them. So, one of the things that we have when we do our writing, we always say it's important to reuse our phonics. Now, at the back of your learning log, okay, which you all have, you will see your phonics map, and they are spread it out on two uh, a couple of pages and you can see that's my phonics mat ready to do some writing so i'm going to leave that here i'm going to put it next to me okay to help me i've also got my word bank to help me you might want to pause the video now to write these words down so let's read them together little house my went went she said wh what and the okay pause the video now just to write these words down because they will help you while you're writing And the last thing I have is my time to check. Now we know all of these symbols mean different things. So let's just go through what these symbols mean. So this symbol here, okay, is making sure our writing sits on the line. This symbol here, that we start our sentence with a capital letter, making sure we also write nouns, start of that letter has a capital letter too. Remember, a noun is a person, place and thing, and they are important, they need to be a capital letter at the start. Beautiful handwriting. 
using our phonics, so using our super segmenting arms when we are finding it a little bit tricky to write a word, using those finger spaces, which sometimes we find a little bit tricky to do. This one here, reread your sentence to make sure it makes sense and end your sentence with a full stop. So this is what I'm going to be using today too, to help me write my narrative. So I've got all of my things ready, okay, and I'm going to put them here next to me. Now you won't be able to see them in the camera, okay, but they are here to help me. And when I want to show you something, I'm going to model that too. So I'm going to start by looking at my first illustration, okay. So I think I'm going to start this tale saying, writing, sorry, once upon a time. Or oh, I might just write one day. So I'm going to write one day. Now it's the start of my sentence, so I need to make sure I have a capital letter. So actually, I'm going to do once upon a time. Once at so finger space a on. I'm I'm there was A, a little okay now i know on my word but i had the word little okay here so i'm going to magpie that word and write it here little little girl called Little again. It's her name, so it needs to be a capital. Little red. R -e -d. Red. R -e -d. R -i -d. Ing. I'm going to end that sentence there. I'm going to proofread it, so I'm going to check if my sentence makes it makes sense. I'm going to check my writing and making sure I have all of these two. Let's read it together. Once upon a time. There was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. I'm happy with that. I know I have my full stop. Okay, I know I have my finger spaces. My sentence makes sense. I've used my best handwriting and I've made sure it is sitting on the line. So I'm going to carry on. One day, now I've got a full stop here, so I need to have a capital letter. One day little red riding hood went so I'm just going to use my phonics map because I'm not too sure how an eh looks at eh, eh, eh. Went to visit a, her 
the grand mother who was very Carry on, let's read it. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. One day, Little Red Riding Hood went to visit her grandmother, who was very sick. And I have just written about this illustration here. Okay, this one here. That is it. Okay, now I haven't got enough space on my piece of paper, so I'm going to get another piece of paper just to help me. And I'm going to continue. I'm going to look what's happening in this illustration. So I've done this one. I'm going to look at this one. Now I can see while she was walking, she bumped into the wolf. So that's what I'm going to write. While little red riding. was walking and I'm going to add that extra detail through the forest through the ah oh, is she now she I'm going to look at my word mark again she e b o m in to a oh Perfect. So I'm going to read that. Okay, I'm going to check it using my time to check. Okay, and I'm hoping you will help me too. So, wow, little red riding hood. Now I can see I've made a mistake already because it's part of her name. It should be a capital H. So I'm going to write capital H here. While Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest, she bumped into a wolf. Got my full step, full stop, check, makes sense, yep. Has my finger, uh, finger spaces, yep. I've used my phonics, got nice handwriting that is sitting on the line. And I've put the capital letters in the right places, making sure also I have capital letters where it says Little Red Riding Hood's name. So I think that bit I am done. Perfecto. Now I'm going to be writing about the next two parts. So let's write that one. The wolf asks The girl, where she is going. Little red. Riding Hood. 
odd re now I'm finding the word replies really tricky so I'm going to use my phonics okay replies replies okay replies now I might not get it right it's okay so replies called replies that she that that so I'm gonna go wolf ask the girl where she is going little red riding hood replies that she that the wolf asked the girl as she's going little red riding hood replies and then I'm going to I am going to be my grandmother Who is very sick? So we're going to read it from the beginning. While Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest, she bumped into a wolf. The wolf asked the girl where she is going little red riding hood replies i am going to see my grandmother who is very sick that's that image there done and then my last bit is going to be the wolf thinking of an idea so i might just write um so what can I write? I can say grandmother who is very sick. The wolf gets an idea. And I might just leave it as that. Okay? So I'm going to look through all my writing. Okay? check if it makes sense so let's start all the way from the beginning once upon a time there was a little girl called little red riding hood one day little red riding hood went to visit her grandmother who was very sick While the while Little Red Riding Hood was walking through the forest, she bumped into a wolf. The wolf asks the girl where she is going. Little Red Riding Hood replies, I am going to see my grandmother who is very sick. The gets an idea. Now, I've missed something. I wonder who knows what I've missed. Who gets an idea? I think I can hear lots of children saying the wolf. So, it's okay. I don't need to cross the whole sentence out. So, I'm going to do a little arrow and write wolf. So, the wolf gets an idea. And that, what I just did there, is I edited my own writing and that is a very important skill so that's me okay doing my beginning of my sto the story uh, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood I hope that you can write the beginning of the story 
I keep on saying story, the tale of Little Red Riding Hood and send it over on Evidence Me. I would love to see that and I will see you tomorrow to write the middle of my tale. See you later guys. Bye.